Hey everyone, have you updated to macOS 26 yet? Well, congratulations, your Mac now officially looks like a luxury car rolling out of the showroom, but with the handbrake still on by default. Today, I'll show you 26 settings you need to tweak so your laptop doesn't drive you crazy and actually makes you happy. The first thing I did after updating was recolor my folders. I always got lost in those identical blue icons, but now I can give each one its own shade. My work documents are a serious gray, entertainment is green, and everything boring or unnecessary, I painted an ugly yellow. But the fun part is emojis. I stuck one icon on my work folder, another on my games, and even decorated my tax folder with a silly emoji. It looks kind of funny, but the best part is, it works. Finder now looks like a colorful comic book, and I can instantly spot what I need. Apple finally gave us the option to change the style of the clock. I tried different fonts and weights until I found the one that felt right. It may seem small, but every time I open my Mac, it feels like this laptop is truly mine. Dark mode has been around before, but now it's customizable. I turned on transparency and matched the accent color to my wallpaper. It looks really stylish, and my eyes don't get as tired in the evening. The new liquid glass style looks nice, but for me, it was just too much. I went into accessibility display and turned on reduce transparency. The interface instantly felt calmer and cleaner. I synced my wallpaper with the lock screen style. Now the whole system looks seamless, almost like it was designed just for me. It may seem small, but it's something that makes me happy every single day. Spotlight works differently now. Command 1 opens apps, Command 2 shows files, Command 3 brings up actions, and Command 4 is the clipboard history. No more scrolling through long lists, everything is neatly separated into categories. I also added quick shortcuts, SM to send a message, PP to start a playlist. Type just two letters and it's done. Spotlight has basically turned into my personal assistant. It even remembers past searches. I just press the arrow key and see everything I looked up before. For someone as forgetful as me, that's a lifesaver. And in Spotlight settings, I turned off categories I don't need, like mail, notes, and calendar. Now search is faster and only shows me what I actually want. I turned the control center into my own command hub. I added low power mode, night shift, screenshots, and split screen. Everything I need is now just one click away. Any button can now be moved up to the menu bar. I put screenshots there and now I take them instantly. Super handy when working with content. When I went overboard with customization, I just hit reset. The panel snapped back to its default look. It's like having an undo everything button. Split screen now works with a single button. I keep work on the left and YouTube on the right. Perfect balance. I also added a dedicated button for screenshots and screen recording. No more memorizing key combos. One click and it's done. I pulled night shift into the control center too. In the evening, I switch it on with a single tap. The screen warms up and my eyes get a break. Low power mode is there as well. I turn it on ahead of time if I know I won't be near an outlet. And yes, the Mac really does last longer. Small indicators have appeared at the top. Downloads, timers, progress bars. At first, I barely noticed them, but now I use them all the time. And yes, you can actually make calls on the Mac now. I don't call often, but when my phone is in another room, this feature really comes in handy. On the Mac, automations finally work the same way they do on the iPhone. I can set up simple if this, then that rules. For example, when I plug in a flash drive, Finder opens automatically. Or if I drop a file into a folder, it gets renamed the way I want. These are clear, predictable triggers that I set myself. But now it goes a step further. Instead of me writing the rules, Apple Intelligence looks at the file and decides what to do. I drag a PDF into a folder and the Mac recognizes it's an invoice and files it under finance. If it's a photo, it moves it to pictures. It feels less like programming and more like the computer is actually cleaning up after me. 
I usually turn off Help Apple Improve Search in the settings. I'd rather keep my late night searches just between me and my Mac. I also went through the Spotlight categories and disabled everything I don't need. The less clutter there is, the faster the search works. Finally, PDFs open in dark mode. Reading documents at night no longer feels like a shock to the eyes. It's actually comfortable now. Some apps like to push their own icons onto the menu bar. Now I can just block them. The top bar looks clean and tidy again. In display settings, I found small but useful tweaks. Reducing animations, adjusting contrast, subtle changes, but they make the experience calmer and easier on the eyes. Notifications on the Mac are now more flexible. They're grouped by type, messages, mail, calls. I can reply or dismiss them right from the notification itself. And with Apple intelligence, the most important alerts are kept at the top, while the less urgent ones get tucked away. That's it, 26 settings. Some are a little odd, some are genuinely useful, but together they make your Mac truly yours. Leave everything as it is, and you just get the standard Apple experience, polished, but frustrating.